Okay, we created a, an image file. So let me now do a file. And uh, we want to add um, evidence item. And we'll choose image file, because that's what we created. We can also do a contents of a folder. And I'll show that here in a second. If I click next, then please enter the source path. I do a browse. And I'll look for the file that I just created. And um, here it is. Testing, uh, testing January 31.ed1. Click open. And now click finish. Now I didn't have very many files in this to begin with because I wanted to keep it small. Um, but if I expand that, it says seed temp images, and I expand that, then that's that's all there is there. But if I click this, then you'll see the the images, the files that were under there. So you see there's a pink panther. So if I click that, then uh, there's that file. Now if I um, right click this, I can save save picture as. Um, uh, email picture, print picture, you know, a lot of different things. Now that's um, the image file. And you're wondering, well, how come there's only one file? Well, let me go to the, the folder. And I uh, specifically looked at my images. That's all I have under there. That's why there's only one file. <coughs> okay. Well, let me come up here and do a file. And I choose... Um, Add evidence item, and I'll, instead of that, I'll create the contents of a folder. Now, I'll click next. Please enter the source path. I do a browse. Um, this is Windows 10, so it looks a little bit different than yours, probably will. I'll choose and see my temp, and then I'll click OK. Click finish. And now, then you see I expand temp, and then just expand that, and that shows me my different folders there. If I click this, then this will show um, my different files. And um, some of these are HTML files from another course. And you see when I click them, it shows them down there. Um, here's a analysis one VFT. This looks like an XML file or something. <laughs> That's pretty vague, isn't it? Um, no clue what that. Okay, that's my. Um, well, that's my DD um, that I created over in Linux. Okay, errors, lists. But even more than this, this allows you to search through the files. So there's a lot of different options up here. And you see, you can view it on uh, text, you can view files in hex format. Uh, we saw this earlier in the in a different package um, where it's added in this form. And view the text or uh, view files. Um, choose IE text or hex viewer automatically. So that's uh, depending upon uh, what you file you got, it'll choose the appropriate one. Uh, export directory listing, export file hash, export files, detect. Um, obtain protected files, capture memory. So if I do the capture memory, it says the file name, um, destination path. I can create an AD file. And let me put that under the temp. And click OK. And then capture memory. <coughs> Dumping the RAM. Thought that'd be a little bit faster. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, chose it. I don't know if I have to reattach that folder for us to see that file or not. I would encourage you. We're not going to spend a huge amount of time in all these packages trying to learn every feature on it. That isn't the... The point of this class. The point of this class is to give you some exposure to these tools, and for in combination with what you read in the book, then to kind of understand uh, where these are used at. So if you do find yourself uh, needing to use one of these one day, you've at least seen it, or if you uh, if you need to use a utility that does this, then you you have a few in mind.
and the book kind of goes over the benefits of uh, different different tools. They even go over some uh, older ones. Uh, they talk about MS DOS tools. <laughs> they probably need to update some of their material in the book on that. But I suppose if you had somebody that had a MS DOS machine didn't have Windows, then maybe uh, you'd care about that. Doesn't seem like there'd be anybody around like that. Um, but you might be surprised. My uncle passed away for about um, eight years ago or so, and uh, he ran a, in the flea market. He ran a consulting outfit, and um, his big thing was he viewed that um, that Windows was a fad, <laughs> and he liked DOS. Um, I won't give my opinion on that, but. Okay, so now it's going through and creating my AD1 file. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and pause the video. And then I'll restart it once it uh, gets close to being finished. So you don't have to sit here and wait forever while it's um, dumping the information out. Okay. Um, it's finished, so it says memory capture finished successfully. I'm going to close on that, and let's um, see if it's under our temp. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a new file there. Okay, so let me come over here. I'm going to remove the evidence item. I right-clicked on it. And now let me choose a file and add evidence item. And I'll choose a, um, uh, actually that'd be an image file this time. Click OK, browse. It's under my temp. And I'm going to choose the drop down here and I'm going to choose details. So I can see what in the world I'm working with. And uh, here's a TXT that tells how it looks. Um, memory capture 81, 82. So let me choose, uh, oops, wrong one. So choose AD1 and click op open and then finish. Okay, so then I'll expand that. I get the memory dump here and come down here. And this tells us our, our breakdown. I can scroll down. start seeing some of the some of the different um, items there now the key is that you, you can't you don't sit here and you're able to read all through this machine garbage and tell what's happening but you can do searches maybe you want to view the files in plain text or view them in a, a hex format so it gives you different options there let me open up the other one so I'll add evidence item image file and browse and then I want to choose the second one and click finish expand that and let's see what we get okay you see there's lots of nothings there um, And I'm definitely not to the point where I can sit here and look through this and tell you exactly uh, what to look for and so forth. But that's how you do a memory dump. And you may find an entire book on how to examine a memory dump. Um, so we're not talking about a, a very small uh, utility here where you can just immediately look at this and see what's going on with it. But, um, you know, what, what are you to look for? You know, if you got uh, some kind of um, uh, evidence in RAM, um, you know, what is this going to give you? Now, we're running it on our low own PC, so that right there is suspect, but we're just learning how to use the utilities. But uh, that's how you, um, you use uh, access data to view an image file.